So we are going to group members. Yes, exactly. That's where we're going. So in here, we want to see, uh, depending on the group ID, how many user IDs are there. So we want to get all the members from a particular group. So all we need here is to make sure that we check where group ID is equal to the group ID we're looking for. And the row can be anything, member, uh, admin, it doesn't matter. And then disabled should be equal to zero. Okay, so where disabled is zero and group ID is group ID. So that's all we need. So let's do that, shall we? So the first thing we do is we select the likes first. Let's make sure this user has followers before we begin uh, reading for group members. So if they do and we get here, which means they do, and we create the likes uh, array, that's well and good. Now here, let's, um, right here, let's uh, get all members of the group. Mm -hmm. So let's create our SQL and then let's read from it. So SQL is equal to select all. Mm -hmm. Actually to limit space, uh, we don't need to select everything. We just need to select user ID. That's what we are looking for. So select user ID from group members where a group wait, wait wait is it group id like this yes group id so where disabled is equal to zero and group id is equal to that group id over there group how did we write it? Group ID. I think it was like this. And uh, that's it. Yeah, that's group ID right there. Uh -huh. Now, um, we have to make sure it's numeric. Yes. Or oh, maybe not numeric, but uh, let's just say group ID is equal to add slashes group ID like so. Uh -huh just to clean it up. Okay, so now there we go. Uh, and then let's get a result here, copy and put it here. Now let's use something we are going to not interfere with these others. So this result is going to be uh, it's going to, um, members, yeah, members. Mm -hmm. So now if if is array members I like this yeah. if is array members mm -hmm. so if it's an array then we're going to loop through it yes yeah so let's say for each members as we don't need the key we just need as member no actually as row because it's a row that we're going to get from here uh -huh. so now keep in mind we have one array here okay which contains uh, all the followers of that user okay now we want to see if we can find those followers in an array and then if we do uh, we have to remove them Okay So we're actually doing the wrong thing here. What I want to do is loop through the likes themselves So I'll copy the likes And come here so Paste so likes as like Actually Now that I remember I need the key because I want to edit the original likes array. So key and uh, like, like so. Mm -hmm. So that's one like and it's key so that I know where it resides in this main array and so I can remove it. So 
what I want to do here is while I'm looping through the likes, now members here is an array, right? So, but I want to create another array which contains, because this array here contains, um, contains this row here, these rows here, which have user ID, but I just want to get the user IDs themselves. So I'll use array column and get user ID. So I'll say members is equal to array column uh, of members again. And then the column I want is user ID, just the user IDs from all the results. So now members is a single array and not a um, an array within an array, right? It's just one array now. So now I can use it to put an if statement here. So I'll say if in array, okay? So I'm looking if I will find the needle in the array. So the needle is what we're looking for. So I'm looking for that like, that one user ID. What's the haystack? That's members, okay? So if it's inside the members, then I don't need it to be part of this likes array. So I will say likes, and then I'll do key. That's why I needed the key. And I will say, unset this one. So unset like that. Now, once I finish unsetting uh, these, there'll be holes in the middle of this array. So I don't like that because I want everything to be nice and clean. So after the loop, what I will do is I'll say likes is equal to array keys no array values actually so i get all the values put them back in the same array like that wow so that was a trip yes yes so let's recap a little bit so what i'm doing here is i'm checking if the user has any followers so if they do we'll get here if they don't have any followers we just return false but if they do we are going to go through here and then what i will do is i'll get the likes and convert because it's a string I'll get it and convert it to an array. So there we have that array, okay? Then I will get all existing members of that group. So once I get those ex existing members, I will loop through all the followers that I have, which is right here, loop through all the followers, and then check if they belong in the already existing members, and then I will remove them from that array. Yeah, clear enough, I hope. So let's come back here and refresh. Okay, so we obviously have made a few errors, which is good. Now this error is fatal. So it has killed our script. So it's saying cannot use object of type group as array. Yeah, 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 okay. So that's on line, uh, where is this? Uh, I can't see the stack traits properly here. So it's, a, it's inside group content invite PHP on line nine. So let's go to line nine. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. So this one here is a class actually. So what I'm looking for is group data. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I was looking for. So let's refresh, there we go. So I didn't expect to see to lose anything, and that's actually a good sign that things are actually working, because none of these guys are actually members of this bird watching club. Yes, except me, of course. So I should omit my own name, and also you see, because group members are not just uh, the people. Where is this? Back, back, back. No, I think it's actually good. It's working fine here. There we go. Uh -huh. It's only that uh, we are not retrieving information from the... Um, what's this? The creator of the group. But that's not a big deal because the creator is also here as well. So what I may do is say... Um, this is the ID of followers. Mm -hmm. 
so the the user that's uh, bringing us here should not be involved. So what I will do is I will come here and say group members. Mm -hmm. Select likes. Blah, 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 blah. Select user ID from group members where disabled. Okay. And we should also omit the, 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 the person that's doing this because we don't want somebody to invite themselves. So select user ID from group members where disabled is equal to zero and group ID is equal to ID or let's do this. So let me put that in brackets or like that. Uh, user ID is equal to ID like that. Mm -hmm. So let's try again, but uh, nothing will change here because I'm the group creator and I am not part of this group members uh, thing. Okay. So uh, things are working fine. So let me, just to show you that they're working fine, let's go to the other group. So let me go to my own profile or groups. Let's go to the other group and let me try to invite people. Mm -hmm. Now, Mary is uh, already part of this group. Yes, yes. So there's no way she should be here. So something is definitely wrong. So let me check here what's happening. So let's come here to see if we are seeing any members here for a second. So let me do echo. No, let's do show members. So do we get any members? Let me move it up here, actually. Refresh. Uh -huh. So there is one member here we are getting. Uh -huh. So that's uh, 2043. Let's see what user is that one. Let's use, let's see their user ID, 2043, uh, that's this one, Mary. Okay, so pretty cool. So Mary should be out of here. So why isn't she? So this will be true. And so let me move the show down after I do this array column right there. Eh, let me move this down. So let's move it down to there. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens there, what we are left with. Okay, so good, everything looks fine. So bam, there we go. There's still that one item there. So for each likes, likes key, boom, 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 boom. So let's come down here and see if the if statement is actually being uh, evoked. And it isn't, right? So because we can't see anything. So here it's not working, it's saying if in array, uh, the needle that we are looking for is the like so we're going through all the likes here and this one we are trying to find it inside members hmm that's very interesting okay so what i would do here i will show members and i want to show likes as well so let's start with likes and then let's show members let's see if there's a uh, a name that is in both places, okay? Oh, I see. So once we go through here, the likes, I, I didn't actually know this, but the likes have a date also, and they have a user ID. Okay, so I see where the problem is. So our user ID is right here, and in the other array, it's right there. Okay, so I see where the problem is here. And let me delete these guys. Don't need you guys no more. Now let's fix the problem. So we're going to say if this one goes to like, now this like here is actually an array. So like, boom, let's put user ID here. That's when it's going to work because I didn't know it was an array. Okay, I think that should sort the problem out. Mm -hmm. So now you see Mary is gone because she is part of the group already. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so pretty good. Now we will see how to remove the admin as well from this list. 
but for now we want to add some buttons to here to invite the remaining people so here you see mary is gone but if i go back to another group let me go to another group uh, let me go to my profile groups let's go to the bird watching group and try to invite people here i'll see all three okay so pretty good so far now to put some buttons yes mm -hmm. 